I am a, f a big fan of Kurdistan and the scenery and the mountains and the valleys and the rivers. And as I told you, the, the, the ski uh, resort on, on top of Korik Mountain, is it well deserved? Yes, Erbil is safe, uh, it has four seasons, um, weather is fantastic, it's a great attraction for families. It really deserves to be on the map of leisure tourism, not only business tourism. However, there are many aspects that, uh, uh, that would be coordinated in order for, um, for us as a destination to achieve better results for, for, for Erbil to be a capital of Arab tourism. Um, I said it before and I'll say it again. The first one of them is to smoothen a little bit the, um, the entry permits for Arabs. If, if it is the capital of Arab tourism, then we are attracting Arabs. And it's very difficult for Arabs from this region to get a, an entry permit or a form of a tourism visa or a visit visa or a transit visa or a temporary visa. It is very difficult, if, if, if almost non-existent. So um, unfortunately, this has to be coordinated and solved so that we can attract more uh, tourism that we deserve than what or what's already happening. And I also think um, a good, um, a, a very, very good lesson is to, um, is to put all the players, key players or none, all the players around one table at least once and, uh, and share the experiences and share the, 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 the needs of, uh, how, of how it would be done and, and, and what hiccups could be solved. Uh, however, I wish that uh, I really wish that Erbil would get more business than it already uh, is getting. Especially that many other destinations in the region are uh, are not getting their fair share either. So Erbil stands a good chance. Is there any but uh, utilizing the fact that the Erbil is the capital of Arab tourism into attracting different sectors of business to uh, to uh, our hotel. Although our hotel is 100% business hotel, however, business tourism is a, is a, is a big sector of tourism in general. And uh, our focus in 2014 is to work lo uh, closely with the government, uh, with other uh, players in the tourism and hospitality sector in, uh, in Kurdistan in general, in order to, number one, promote uh, the destination. I owe it to, uh, I mean, Tangram owes it to, to the destination. And in, into, into attracting business uh, to our hotel. So that's our focus. We're working through um, uh, participating in events. I will be uh, uh, representing uh, Kurdistan in the first... Kurdistan International Tourism Conference, which is going to be held in Dubai on the 7th of May, uh, and it will coincide with the Arabian Travel Market, which is also going to be held from the 5th till the 8th of May, where I will also be representing Tangram and Kurdistan uh, in collaboration with Tangram Brand, the Global Hotel Alliance, the um, Tourism Board. Uh, as well as the hotel association for 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 local hotels in Erbil, so we are focusing on 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 this and in also participating in major events that the uh, tourism board is holding in uh, in Erbil, in the parks, in the malls. We have um, not sponsored per se, but we have we are collaborating with them in order to assist in making those events also a success. So 2014 is the year we are dedicating for making Erbil a success in terms of a destination, a brand name. This is my, my focus. And within this focus, I'm trying to attract business for my hotel naturally. 2015, our focus uh, will shift into also uh, adding more in inventory to our portfolio in, of Tangram in Iraq, in general, Kurd and Kurdistan in particular. So we are going to convert the success of this unit into other units to open in the in the country hopefully